Number 10. Reptiles at the Gas Station At a gas station in Florida, an unexpected visitor showed up in October of 2018. It was early on a Tuesday when police in Miami Gardens were called to deal with a baby alligator that had wandered right into the gas station. Police received a 911 call from staff at the gas station when they found themselves stuck with the baby alligator and having no idea what to do with it. The police showed up and took some pictures and shared them to Twitter and then called local wildlife handlers to remove the tiny reptile. Thankfully, it was relocated to its natural habitat without being hurt. Nobody was in danger, but it was definitely unexpected. In other news, a much larger reptile was discovered stalking around a gas station in Malaysia in 2020. The crocodile, estimated at over 12 feet 3.6 meters long, was spotted out front of a gas station in the small city of Lutong late at night. A team of firefighters were called to the scene at 10 o'clock to find a monstrous beast just kind of roaming around the gas pumps. It was big and definitely frightening, though not quite large enough to start taking off people's legs and flattening their tires. Still, the firefighters took the crocodile away and released it inside a nearby river. Number 9. Sloth on a zip line. A young boy ziplining in Costa Rica got the shock of his life when he met the slowest moving creature on the planet, high above the forest floor. The kid, who hasn't been named, was zooming through the forest canopy with his guide near the arenal volcano at Go Adventure Arenal Park when they ran into the sloth. The sloth had apparently mistaken the zipline for a shortcut from one part of the forest to another and was very, very slowly making his way across. When the kid and the guy bumped into the sloth, it wasn't even moving. It appeared to have taken a break and was just kind of hanging from the rope. It was actually a pretty bad time for the sloth. Zip lines move incredibly quickly. The boy actually ran into the sloth in the middle of the line, basically headbutting the poor animal. Neither the child nor the mammal were harmed, although the sloth did appear to be in distress. It raised and curled one of its hands, which is a sign of stress. The only reason the sloth wasn't knocked right off the rope was that the kid saw it coming and used the handbrake to slow himself down. What followed was a really tense 15 minutes while the kid and the guide waited for the sloth to move out of their way. But in the end, the sloth went about its business and nobody got hurt. Number 8. Florida Zombie Cat in 2015, a cat was discovered in the middle of the road, lying in a pool of its own blood. The poor feline appeared to have been hit by a car and was presumed dead. His name was Bart and his owners were absolutely devastated. Ellis Hudson of Tampa Bay said he was so upset to find his cat dead that he asked his neighbor Dave if he could dig a shallow grave and bury Bart for him. Ellis was simply too distraught to go through with burying his beloved animal himself. So the cat was buried and that was the end of Bart. At least that was what everyone thought. Five days after the cat was buried, he was discovered meowing for food by another of Ellis's neighbors. Bart turned out to be a zombie. He had crawled out of his own grave and then went to the nearest house hoping to get a meal. It was like something straight out of Stephen King's Pet Cemetery, although Bart didn't appear to have any murderous intentions. Bart was taken to the vet, but the bill was more than Ellis could afford. He had to take his cat to the Tampa Humane Society, who paid for Bart's surgery. Bart had to have his eye removed, his jaw fixed, and he needed a whole lot of bed rest. It's not every day a cat comes back to life. Last we heard, Bart made a miraculous full recovery, minus the missing eyeball. Number 7. Poolside Bear Karen Bockrath had an unexpected visitor take a dip in her backyard pool one day. It was a giant black bear trying to beat the Florida heat by cooling off in the temperature-regulated waters. But Karen and the bear actually go way back. Karen first realized something strange was going on just before spring of 2021. Her door screen had been ripped apart and there was pretty clear evidence of destruction around the pool. She could plainly see all the telltale signs of a bear. 
It continued happening until one day she actually caught the bear in the act, chilling out and having a soak in the pool. The only thing the bear was missing was its swim trunks and maybe a martini. The bear has become such a frequent visitor that Karen now considers it her pet. Karen believes it was the same bear that used to visit her backyard as a cub nearly a decade ago. That would make the bear around seven years old and a lifelong family friend. Number six, special delivery. A very large and very angry King Cobra was discovered inside of a package at a delivery company in Thailand. In March of 2022, staff at Flash Express noticed there was a cardboard box in their facility wiggling around. They watched the package for a while as it jostled and moved, pretty certain there was some kind of living creature in it. When they paused to listen, they could hear a hissing sound coming from inside the box. They were too afraid to open it themselves, and so they called a wildlife specialist to deal with it for them. When the specialist arrived and opened the parcel, they discovered a black bag inside. Whatever the creature was, it was inside the bag. When the specialist opened the bag, a king cobra slithered out. The king cobra is one of the most venomous snakes in the entire world. This one appeared to be around 10 feet, 3 meters long, and it was furious. Snakes don't exactly appreciate being stuffed in bags and then shipped in boxes. Thankfully, nobody was hurt during the incident. The wildlife professional safely captured the snake and sent it to a place called King Cobra Village, a local tourist attraction that puts on snake shows. At least we know the snake will have a good life. As for who sent the package, they apparently had no idea what was inside. A police investigation revealed the sender had made the shipment to help a friend and had no idea there was a snake in the box. Number 5. A Living Turtle in 2021, a biologist with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission was out collecting tissue samples from a fish. It was all very scientific, part of a study involving the Wildlife Research Institute. But the biologist discovered something unbelievable. When the researcher caught a largemouth bass, they noticed there was movement coming from inside the fish's stomach. The researcher took the fish back to the lab and carefully opened up its guts. Inside the fish was a living turtle. There was an entire turtle still alive that had apparently been swallowed by the greedy fish. It wasn't digested, it wasn't injured, and it was perfectly healthy. It was just a little baby, probably swallowed as it was trying desperately to stay alive in Florida's competitive ecosystem. There was only one possible course of action. The researcher returned to the place where they had caught the fish and put the turtle in the grass. They then stood and made sure the tiny turtle made its way back into the water and vanished, swimming away into what would hopefully be a long and very happy life. Number 4. Alligator at Wendy's Wendy's, the fast food restaurant, is a pretty unexpected place for an alligator. The way it got there is even more unexpected. It happened on October 11, 2015. Joshua James of Jupiter, Florida, picked the American alligator up off the side of the road. He kept it with him in his pickup truck. When he went to the Wendy's drive through Joshua ordered a large soft drink and tossed the alligator through the window. Imagine the fear the restaurant employees must have felt when an alligator was thrown at them through the drive through window. It was a pretty small gator, but still pretty shocking. Joshua wasn't provoked, he had no real reason to do what he did. He just thought it was funny. But it wasn't funny when he got arrested. Joshua James was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and unlawful possession of an alligator. He was arrested and his bail was set at $6,000 and he was ordered to stay away from all Wendy's restaurants for the rest of his life. Number 3. Spider Delivery Online shopping went terribly wrong for a man named Tim when he decided to have the family groceries delivered to his house back in 2014. What should have been a simple food delivery turned into a traumatizing experience. Inside the shopping bags, Tim and his family came across the deadliest spider in the entire world. We should mention that this happened in London, nowhere close to a place with venomous spiders, and yet delivered straight to Tim's kitchen was a Brazilian wandering spider, a beautiful yet extremely toxic insect. 
The Brazilian wandering spider is so dangerous that its venom will almost always kill a person if help isn't given quickly enough. The venom shuts down a person's nervous system with just one bite and requires immediate anti-venom to live. It's a pretty horrifying thing, but something most people in the city of London don't have to deal with. Tim and his wife were pretty shocked when they saw the spider, but didn't immediately understand how much danger they were in. It was crawling around on the bananas in their groceries. They had to do a bit of internet research to see what kind of spider they were dealing with, at which point they realized they were in serious trouble and ran out of the house. They got in contact with the grocery store for help, and they sent over an arachnid specialist. The specialist tracked down the spider in the house and took it away, and that was the end of it. Number 2. Snake in the Couch In April of 2022, a man in California sat down on his couch and discovered a massive serpent curled up in his cushions. He didn't know if the snake was venomous, dangerous, or what. It goes without saying, he also had no idea where it came from. Fearing for his life, the man sprang off his couch and ran out his front door. He got on the phone and called Alex Treo with SoCal Rattlesnake Removal. When Alex arrived at the house, located in the neighborhood of Lakeside in San Diego, he discovered a Vietnamese blue beauty rat snake on the couch. The serpent was over 7 feet, 2.1 meters long, and extraordinarily rare. According to Alex, there's a higher probability of finding a Rolex on the sidewalk than coming across a snake like this. The serpent is also known as a cave racer snake, and it's native to the tropical forests and caves of Asia. They can grow to be over 8 feet, 2.4 meters long, and are extremely expensive house pets. They aren't illegal because they aren't deadly, but they are rare enough to be worth a small fortune. Alex believes the snake ended up in the house after it escaped from its owner. Somebody nearby in the neighborhood must be a snake collector, and this one got away from them and snuck into the house, then curled up in the comfy couch. Number 1. Abandoned Kittens Outside an office building in Thousand Oaks, near the Santa Monica Mountains, an office worker came across a litter of abandoned kittens. It was late November of 2021, not a great time of year for defenseless cats to be stuck out in the cold, but the office worker was in for the shock of their life. These weren't ordinary kittens mewing underneath the picnic table, they were mountain lion kittens. Thankfully, this office worker had a good head on their shoulders. They called wildlife officials, and biologists from the California Department of Fish and Wildlife came in to investigate. They assumed the mother would come back for the kittens, and so they tried to keep the area clear of any humans so that the mama cat would feel safe enough to return. But she never did. The mother mountain lion had abandoned her babies right next to his random office building, and they were in danger of dying. Finally, biologists took the six-week-old kittens out of the cold and handed them off to trained veterinarians. Two of the kittens perished, but two survived. Now it's a matter of nursing the kittens back to health, then helping them turn into big, strong mountain cats to be released again one day into the wild. Thanks for watching. Would you rather find a snake in your couch cushions or a bear in your pool? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.